the greatest obstacle to Paul's success in Ephesus would be his pagan opponents. And, and very often we find in the case of the early church, this is very typical because often the persecutions, the Roman persecutions, were incited not by the emperor, but by local governors whose feet were held to the fire by pagan priests. They were ticked off that Paul's message of an invisible one God that you can't make with hands. Uh, this, of course, turns off the union of the silversmiths in Ephesus, as you well know. And it also was responsible for persecutions later on, uh, that the, the, the pagan priests couldn't stand it, the competition. And therefore, they said, come on, these people are against the law. Governor here, how come you let them go? We're going to tattle to Caesar on you if you don't persecute them. This happened again and again. I'd say most of the Roman persecutions of the Christians, until Constantine took the heat off, were a response to pagan priests who were very jealous of Christian successes. Mm -hmm.